we're on a break. Um, do you remember the first day you told us your funny story about <laughs> coming to New York? Yes. Um, Tell it. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I, so I first moved to New York and I was living on the Upper West Side and I had this uh, audition and it was like my first audition so I went down to Ripley Greer and I like left Ripley Greer and I like went through the revolving doors and I'm like, okay, I'm really excited. I live in New York. So I called one of my best friends from home from Michigan. I pull out my cell phone and I'm talking to my cell phone. And of course I've got like my Michigan voice and I'm like, oh my God, I love New York. This is like the most amazing place I've ever been. There's like this energy that's like, you know, like pulsating through this entire city and it's just like so amazing. And I'm like so excited to be living here. And I'm talking, talking, talking. And then this guy comes from like out of nowhere, this homeless guy, and he grabs my shoulder and just punches me in the head. Oh, and I'm like sitting here on the phone and I just stop and I'm like, oh my God, I hate New York. I just got hit that by a homeless guy. And I start crying. And I'm like, like tears are like coming down my face. And I'm on my phone and I'm crying. And the homeless guy's like walking away. And people are like, are you okay? Is everything all right? And I'm just like, oh my God. And I'm crying. And I was like, now, in retrospect, I'm like, this, that was a quintessential New, know, York, New York, York moment. moment. Like, like, so clearly. Yeah. And at the moment, I was terrified. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm moving back to Michigan. I know all those people there. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Lots to draw on. Yeah, especially for Margie. Yeah. <laughs> she has a more homeless guy punches her face. <laughs> <laughs> we're adding that to the play. Exactly. No, we're not. Hi, <laughs> Carly. Second act, she's got a black guy. <laughs> I love this story. Um, so, when I moved to New York seven years ago, I moved into a one-bedroom apartment on the Lower East Side um, with a buddy of mine, Nick, I was going to grad school with, and yes, we were put together, it was two men <laughs> sharing one bedroom, which only lasted for about a year. But uh, it was this little apartment um, with a refrigerator that sounded like a spaceship, and um, this short, like, Latin American um, super that we generally just saw outside. I don't think he spoke English. And uh, he would always give us the evil eye when we were like going in and out of the building to take out the trash or like to go on a uh, you know, jog or something. And uh, we, he'd always be like strangely sweeping the hall right when we were leaving and coming back. And one day, uh, it was like, it was one night I guess, it was like one in the morning or something, and my buddy Nick and I were home. And all of a sudden there's this like rattling at the door. And Nick goes out to the like little you know viewfinder and looks in the little window, and he looks out and sees the super like right outside the door, and he is like sticking a well we couldn't see this at the time, but he was like making some sound on our lock, and so we open the door and he's got like a screwdriver in our lock, and uh, <laughs> we just like flipped out. We we're like, dude, you know, what the hell? <laughs> Stop trying to break into our apartment, and we swore at him a lot more, and he ran off. Again, I don't think he spoke English, but I think he was trying to break into our apartment. And that's my story. He didn't punch me in the head or anything, but he did try to break into my house. All right, well, tell us your story of coming to New York and win a chance to come to the opening night of Now Circa Then.